hello everyone my name is hassan and today i'm gonna share with you four minute or from tracking with google analytics and today's video i also discuss about how we can create tag for google analytics for as well as i will share the details about conversion tracking for four minute or form and i like to share with you that the four minute or form is a pretty much popular form you see there is a lot of active installation as well as the form is uh, developed by a great company if you are not sure the form is built with four minute or not you just need to right click on a form and need to go to the inspect and you see that if any form you see that the class name is for minitor and that case you can be confirmed that the form is built with for minitor form builder for wordpress and to track this form with google tag manager you need some tracking code uh, this is the code if you come here and click the copy code button co code will be copied and i will share the code link in the video description and finally we need to go to our google tag manager which is connected with this website so i am going to google tag manager and from here in the tag step we need to create a new tag to insert this code for minitor this for minitor uh, tracking code and then tag configuration we need to select custom html and just paste the code here as well as we need to select a trigger uh, all pages is fine for this and save it now if i check the free view of our google tag manager you see that this is the page where my form is available you see this is the connected with my google tag manager preview in this panel and now if i fill the form with information and giving some random phone number as well as test message and send message You see that the form has been submitted as well as if i come back to my google tag manager you see line it is 17 for minute or form submit uh, data layer event is firing as well as uh, we are getting all of the information of the form id and the user inputted values it included first name last name email address phone number which we have uh, put it for this form and if you are somewhere someone experienced then you are able to track this if you are use, able to use this information to track your form with google analytics or google ad but i am going to share the thing in detail so at first i am coming back to my google tag manager we need to create some variables in the variable step i like to create a variable for form id so come here we need to create the new button and data layer variable form form id and the variable configuration we need to select data layer variable as well as uh, we, the name should be exactly mess with how we are getting it from here the our form id name is form underscore id i'm just giving this and save it our second task is we need to create a trigger for our for our data layer so we just need to copy this and just in the trigger tab we need to create a new trigger and from here we can give data layer event and the event name is this way and in the tag configuration we need to select the custom event and our event name was from for minute or form submit make sure that this is exactly same like here and save it and our third task is we need to create a tag 
which tag we like to send information from our google analytics to google tag manager uh, so come here and by clicking new button we are giving a name ga4 uh, dash maybe contract form submit and then tag configuration we need to select google analytics and from here of course it should be google analytics ga4 event and the measurement id you can directly insert your measurement id here as well as you also can create a constant variable like me and the event name i am just giving con contact phone submit and we also created a properties you i like to use that properties that is phone id and the value is we can click the plus icon we can get the a variable which we have created and then finally in the triggering we need to select the trigger we have created for four minute form submit event and finally we can save it now if i preview the thing again let's see what happened and then this is the phone number and send it you see that the form has been submitted and as well as if we come back and we see that we are getting the data layer event and in the tags we see you are getting the tag fire as ga4 contact form submit so we can confirm that our uh, even information our form information is sending to our google analytics for further inspection we can go to our google analytics dashboard inside the google analytics dashboard this is the admin button by clicking here we will get the debug view so i am going to the debug view option and we see that the contract form submit event has fired here as well as we are getting the form id this is the form id this is the form id we are getting user property actually we made a mistake uh, i guess uh, we put the user id in the wrong place so i am coming back to my tag we given the user property we just need to remove it and give it as another place that is event properties event parameter event parameter should be used for my id as well as we need to select the uh, form id like this now it is perfectly okay and in this way you are able to track your formator from submit with google analytics and if you like to track your form submission as a google ad conversion tracking uh, you can do this way now i am showing that process so uh, go to tracking google ad conversion especially for enhanced conversion you just need to come google ads account and from here you need to click the icon called goals and here you will see all of the goals my case is there is no goal or no conversion action is set up so i am getting this no activation active conversions so you might find list of the your conversion as well as you also find a button called add new or new conversion so my case i am just clicking the new conversion action and next process is everything is same as usual so you need to click the website and from here you need to put the website link my website is leo.com and click the scan it will take a few seconds for a scanning website and finally we are getting this and we need to click add conversion action manually 
and from here first thing we need to select the category because this is the related to contact and it is under lead category so we can choose the contact and conversion name we can give uh, contact form submit and the value value if you like you can uh, give the value for this conversion because actually this case the value is not related to this form submission but it is recommended to give a value so that you can experience your return of investment of google ad so i am just giving the value one it is totally depend on you how much value you like to put for the form submission but if you don't put any value it value will be zero so it is totally up to you which value you like to put and then this is the every the recommended purchase and for the form submission related lead or form submission related thing this is set one is right settings here and all other settings you can keep it as it now and if you more curious about you can click the learn more button to see more details there is also attribution and that uh, driven is a recommended attribution finally you can come to enhance conversion and make sure that you have checked uh, this enhance conversion for conversion action so that we can uh, we can do the enhance conversion and then finally we need to create the done button and save and continue and now we need to select use google tag manager and this is our conversion id and this is the contact form submission this is the conversion level we are staying here right now i am going back to our google tag manager we also need few more uh variable create so i am just going to create two variables once for the email address one for the phone number so i am going to the variable stack again and then we can create new and for the variable configuration we need to select the data layer variable and i am coming back to my uh, data layer preview and you see that our email address address we are getting this way so we just need to copy the name and before copy the name you see that our this is called javascript object and these two properties that is event and formally those are the root level of the object but you see the email address is under the inputs uh, object so at first we need to copy the object parent object the inputs and put it here then we need to give a dot that means we are accessing the input object and then we also need to copy the email one and we can put it here like this and we can copy the name and we can give the same name here data layer uh, variable and the name is this this is a actually naming convention you can use any thing whichever you prefer and we can save it and again we actually we like to copy this variable to create a, another variable for phone number we just renaming everything i guess the it was phone dash one right phone and we also do same thing for here this way and save it so we have successfully created two variable now it is time to create a tag for our google ad conversion tracking so here we need to create another tag the ad form submit or anything and the tag configuration we need to select the google ads this is the google ad and the google ad conversion tracking and you see that we are getting couple of field one for conversion id we need to come back our google ad account and this is the conversion id 
as well as we need to insert all other information this is the conversion id and this is the conversion level and conversion value this case you can put a hard-coded value like the value which we have inserted this side it is totally up to you maybe you can put one dollar and transaction currency we can give usd and then we need to select the user uh, include user provided data from your website because we are getting the user provided data and click the this check this icon we are enable a another field called select user provided data we need to click here and click new variable and you see that we are getting the in the manual configuration we are getting field for selecting email we can select email how we created our email and we need to create phone number we need to select the phone number field as well as if you like you can also create others variable and in uh, select all other variable if thing if those fields are available in our contact form and finally we can save it by click save and we can give rename the name as contact for form and you see that uh, there is a warning conversion link are tag missing in container so we need to create another tag it is just we need to click the create and we can save it as how it is now and finally we need to select our tiger and our case is the data layer for monitor from submit is the right tiger and we can save it and finally we can done it here you see that right now the status is inactive again i am going back to preview and this is the phone number and test message yeah. if you check our data layer preview you see that both of the tag has fired now the contact form submit and google add form submit both even has fired and if i come back here right now this is inactive but if i have a reload here you see that the inactive status has gone and it, it the conversion value will be appear on other information will be appeared here after a few hours so this is all hope you like this video and this video can help you to track your for minutes from submit event with google analytics and google tag manager if you like the video and if you think this video is helpful for you you can have a like, hit a like as well as you can subscribe my channel for getting this kind of video more quickly it is all for today have a good day